Hello friends, and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy, Jack Chockley's Journey Through Hufflepuff. So in the last episode, we mastered the Crossed Wands, got this sweet piratish outfit, and now we're going to be a student, I guess, until Fig comes back, so off to herbology class. Let's see what we can find along the way. I don't know why doors get stuck Rebellions. Oh, these guys are still grumpy. <clears throat> I should just fast travel. I tell myself I'm not fast traveling so I can like learn, but I'm not paying attention, you know? It's just in one ear and out the other. <laughs> But I mean, even without fast traveling, we're making good time. It's not like it takes forever to Rebellion. get around. And we were just at the greenhouses, so that's so bad. I wonder if this is how we start learning, like, potion making and stuff like that. What? No. Is she growing punches on it right. again? Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How I also thrilling like to stand it is out. to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> There's now, not a more magic everyone, way than just cotton. Grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. I should have given those instructions before we uh, yanked them. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repero! <laughs> Good as new. No one needs to know. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I, hmm, I wonder if hippogriffs like knotgrass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. 
wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Mifflers fancy. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient Dittany. in the Wigan Weld potion. I was gonna ask as you all should what know from Dittany's Professor used Sharp's for, but it tells me Wigan Weld potions. Oh, so there's an invisibility potion? What would I need that for, though? I can turn myself invisible. Done. Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Dear, dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. <laughs> oh, thank you. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. The other greenhouse. Nice work in defense against way. the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me. Your duel with Sebastian, and he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good, but you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well. Thank you. Here we are. Oh, he's home of the Chinese back. chomping cabbage. Go on. Uh, uh, grab wait, a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers. I almost lost a thumb once. Not done Don't worry. Stealing. Nurse Blaney put it back on. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Do you want it? Look at that. They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths <laughs> Man, on. where was that while I was dueling kids? <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. And we're back. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Just plants up here for me to steal? Hang on. I mean, acquire. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson here. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Gardening puns. Huh. 
Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Of those mandrakes already relishing their new parts only cost me my damned hearing. Rebellion. Let's see. Any other plants I can uh, acquire? Potions class. Okay. Necessary in the greenhouse as in the great hall. Alright, let's go to potions and see what we learn. Probably just to make health potions, indeed, right? Your field guide. I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Do. Shouldn't there be auras or someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident? Professor Black would never allow that. Rebellion. Yeah, man. Hang on. Explore a little first, you know. Professor Sharp's Auror Badge. Aurors comprise the Ministry's magical law enforcement and protect the wizarding world from, ours, world from all sorts of threats, particularly those posed by dark magic. The Auror Badge belongs to Professor Sharp. I want to be an Auror. Rebellion. All right, let's pay attention. Learn what we can. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I want to be an Auror in law enforcement as I break the law. Sweet, free potion. All right, now I'll go to class. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Point for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Juice. Ditney leaves and five drops of horklum juice. I got this. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. Feel them. Got it. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. 
My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a copy of Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. A bit of a Weasley's. prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fupa feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the Fupa feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fupa feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. This is a bad idea. Your potion should not be there. That looked pretty rare. Remember, precision is key when brewing potions. Here's the Fwapa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. Oh, so it's not it's not a mini game every time? And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Get it! Oh! Mel! Dragon duck! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. <laughs> I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the so potions you the brew here. Forest. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think Aye, each sir. of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. All right. I think the last quest is to go to that Hamlet. Well, and get into combat. <laughs> uh, okay. Before that, let's see if we can go to Hogsmeade. And buy a room.
If not, we should at least sell stuff because we are getting full. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Huh? All roads lead to Hogsmeade when I pick going to Hogsmeade. Revelio. Walked in somewhere and immediately started robbing them. Come on. And I'm the good guy? Hello? I don't know how this works. So I was looking at the right one. It's still locked. That is upsetting. It's all the Andrews. Can I do anything with this? I mean, you don't even greet me. I feel like I'm less than dirt. Zonko's Joke Shop. Frequented regularly by Hogwarts students and villagers alike, Zonko's is the place to buy pranks, and jokes, and hogs mead. Revelio. <laughs> an actual shop. Frog spawn soap. An amphibious surprise awaits anyone who tries to wash this with this particular bar of soap. Once submerged in wa water, a cohort of wriggling tadpoles hatches out of the suds. Those are monsters. Rebellion. I don't believe you. Tell me your secrets. Hmm. <clears throat> all right, all right. Let's go to a place we can sell. Like the clothing shop. Ready for a little change in fashion, are we? Plenty to choose from here, so take your time. All right, let's uh, sell. If I haven't so, said it before, it's a pleasure doing so, business with you. Um, I won't sell that yet. I mean, I don't have any traits. Eh. Whatever. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. Jesus. And it's what? 500? That's it? Oh, don't tempt me. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. Oh, da -da. Dark smithing attire. That looks awful. I'd say that looks swirl. as if it was made for you. I mean, 
kind of thinking about buying some I'd of these. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. That looks awful. I'd say that looks as if it was made house. for you. Where was the... Didn't I just see... Oh, that looks nice. What do I need for that? It's a B level 14. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should buy this. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. I should buy that, because I do like that. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. Is there, I mean, end of the day. You won't be disappointed. I want That's a glad rags promise. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. End of the day, I want all the... Um, Cosmetics. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. <laughs> there, now that I've blown I expect all you have my a sharp money. eye for fashion. Can I use the appearance even though I haven't? Sure can. What up? Competitive one look nice. Yeah, I mean, a lot of these just look good. Uh, for now, I'll keep with this though. <clears throat> I'm just gonna sell it back. You know, now that I have the I have 33 galleons left. Oh you are about. Plenty for your perusal back. today. Because... Take your time. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. you have a sharp eye for fashion be sure to stop by whenever you're about all right now that we're looking alive let's go visit miss and i what do i what's the, the quickest way down there you know is I had something in the courtyard, right? One where the annex. The great hall. The uh, staircase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and then we'll just run out of Hogwarts normal. That's a disappointing that we couldn't buy a broom. But we're just not there yet. I mean, this... <laughs> This quest is still like level four, so you know. Nice to see you, my young friend. Probably something to that. Revelio. Saw that, yeah. Yoink. House points, hourglasses. Oh, 
Doesn't look like they're filling up at all. Excuse me. Okay. The Hogwarts Crest. The coat of arms includes a lion, a snake, an eagle, and a badger, representing the four houses. Hey, that's all 25. Yeah, 10% challenges in here. Oh my god, it's more of this ugly regalia. Get out of here. Let's see how bad it looks. Uh, I think it's an outfit. Rebellion. Could you remind me how the Dedalian uh, keys work again? again? When you spot or no, hear a away. flying sorry, key, I, didn't mean you're that. I hope you follow some. If you open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find. Oh my gosh, I have to anything. turn in like four of those keys. Or er, tokens. Off on another adventure, are we? Oh, uh. Is there like there has to be an order Rebellion. to this, right? Uh uh. One, two, so triangle, moon, sideways tri sideways triangle, so here last. Okay, 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 okay. Uh triangle. Incendio. Sideways triangle and square, so that means it's gotta be you. Dun, 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 dun. Incendio. This is supposed to open. Incendio. I did it. Yeah. What? Is there... Revelio. I don't know, there's like a treasure. On the map here. Yeah, there's a couple of them. Look. Okay. 
Incendio. Incendio. Eres, cuál? Tío, tío, eres. ¿Eh? ¿Eh? It's saved as I stood on this. I just thought, oh well. Eh. <clears throat> Sorry. Going to meet or not. Why won't she just let us use Gideon? <laughs> Revelio. Taken to studying during the oh, day I can at least light this on fire. Incendio! Give me that page. How many is this? Like 50? Revelio. I was being a jerk. I didn't think you were serious. Almost fainted trying to Three sisters' bells. Tribute to the three similarly named. Beautiful steep ridges that rise majestic over a glen of Argyllshire. It is rumored that one can hear them ring in the glen way across the highlands there rung in the castle. <laughs> Revelio! Where? Where's the freaking blue thing here, you know? I thought I read that there was one. I would like it. So I don't gotta be. Yeah, you know, it was right there. I'm lucky. Revelio. Well, that's fun. It's inside the locked door, sad. Um, all right, all right, all right. Stop getting distracted. We are off to visit a hamlet. And maybe get attacked. I gotta dodge ten attacks. I can't dodge attacks if there ain't no attacks coming, you know? Revelio. So that looks like a flow. I've always said that travel... And is this the beast class place? I think so, yeah. I mean, if I had known that, I would have just traveled to the flu in beast class. Revelio. Ah, uh, man, that's those are those are creepy at night. I don't, I don't like that. Revelio. Isn't like a whole thing like, hey, don't leave the castle after dark. Don't go near the forbidden forest. And I'm just like, wee. Did it make me run all this way? 
Got the pathing in this is worse than Apple Maps. Is this... Hello? Give me some coins. Revelio. Give me some... More coins? What... What is this? <sighs> Groundkeeper's tools. Oh, okay. Close to 14. Look at that. Revelio. This looks intriguing. Shouldn't do it. Don't get distracted. Do it, you're getting distracted. Might I beseech you for some assistance? Okay, so what are you doing? Hello, here can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes, my name is Grace Pinch Smedley of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see. I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch oh, yeah? Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. I don't know what an astrolabe is. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. Yeah, okay. Hmm, it sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. All right, let's go poking around looking for an astrolabe. Revelio. Another, another side quest. 
Ooh. What is this? Lumos. Incendio. Accio. All right. Yum yum, bleach juice. I like weigh it out here. It's probably fine. And it could be any one of these spots. This must be where the pink Smedley family astrolabe is. Bloop. Okay, okay, we're getting some cosmetics from it. I mean, it's getting scarves right now, I don't... Why does the lake want scarves? <laughs> there we go. Hand riding attire. What a man, equestrian? A villain mask. I need that for my other playthrough. Alright, I found it. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. Can't believe she made me go swimming out here. What a monster. Is that, is that leech juice? I don't know. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. I want to skip some stones. It's a good quality of life. I trust you didn't find What's the up, diet Grace? too terribly difficult. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible. Did you find the astrolabe? I did. Here you go. I hope it makes your father happy. Keep your it rusty will. junk. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me. And for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. That's fair now that they've introduced like these spots. Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. What? <laughs> The mermaid mask. Oh, yeah, let's look at uh, what'd we get? The tartan sunrise. Oh, the tan riding. You know, it looks silly, but it it's very good for the time. It's the nice thing I could say there. Oh yeah, this is totally a villain. I'm I'm Jason Todd now. That that's what just happened. Oh. I've grown rather fond of the four-eyed glasses. Oh, that's sleek. I'm keeping that. All right, uh, before, is there just a sp yeah, okay, I don't have to activate it. Let me get this flu. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. And we're going to end it here, and we'll pick up in the next episode in Hogsfield. So, if you made it this far, thank you for like. <laughs> if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'm keeping that error in here, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.